another update on the uh, safari slash the car that soon um this time i parked it kind of flexing looking cool since i just welded the rear diff and it can finally perform better off road um the diff spider gears were welded i put those on uh, uh one of the shorts video that i some new bushings on the sway bar uh, definitely I can feel the difference the noise is gone away the mustache bar um, poly bushing also made a huge difference this bar used to bounce around I, I also put that on one of the videos on my Instagram uh, I recorded it from the ground looking up So yeah, all these new bushings that obviously made a huge difference. Finally, after two months of waiting, Apex Engineering took me the, the little rubber boots that protect the heim joints from dust. Um, <laughs> it took forever, but I finally got them. Uh, I'm not sure if I put it on the video, but I painted the tank after I was after I cleaned it because it was a disaster on the inside. It was plugging with rust and crap. My filter. Um, put some matte flaps too all around. These are just a quarter inch, um, quarter inch rubber that I, I turned into a matte flap. They are mandatory by the FIA uh, if you're trying to raise the, the car classics. Um, let's see. Oh, the front, the front rack and pinion. Also, this is probably not a good angle to switch to the front. The rack and pinion got new bushings. You can see the red ones. Um, it was shaking every time I turned, especially the passenger side, the one that you're looking at right now, it was shaking up and down. The old bushing was just gone. Um, at the same time, I threw a couple of uh, universal boots um, to try to protect the inner tie rod because they were good. They were in good condition, so I, I didn't. I didn't want to replace them if I didn't need to. Um, I still have very small engagement, maybe half inch and ideally you want to have maybe three quarters of an inch so I, i'm still trying to figure out what i'm going to do with the steering because as you can see the lower control arms has been extended to try to get a wider track to try to allow for the suspension lift and um, keep the tire without too much camber um so i still have a lot of tuning to do uh, tied up these bushings are here uh, but already the car is driving way better it's a huge difference what these little changes make um the the engine hasn't changed um tire, i don't think nothing oh put some mirrors as you can see the original car doesn't have a mirror on this side but it had one on the driver and it's just impossible to drive especially on a race without mirrors
the engine is still not a hundred percent happy but it's performing a lot better the fast uh, efi fuel injection system that i'm running here my little computer well that's the screen but not the computer um it's learning every time i drive it learns more and more so it's the car is trying to drive better and better i don't think i show in the prior video where i installed the fast efi computer and i put it where, where the original was so sorry for the mess of the wires and uh, the original used to mount down here up here and in a bolt back there let me see if i can get you there there it is that bolt um so what i did i, I made this aluminum plate gray color that you see aluminum and i bolted the computer behind it so the computer is protected from my feet so as i'm driving my clutch and sometimes i rest my feet on the side i didn't want to hit the computer so i hit it in the back of that plate so it's a lot safer uh, for hitting it with my feet um obviously i have a lot left over um wiring to hide and uh, secure with zip tights but since the dash is coming off for the roll cage uh, I, I didn't want to deal with that too much because it's probably going to come off anyway when the dash comes off um i'm still debating if i want to reuse the original i kind of want to because um when you are uh, selected or at least being scrutinized by the regulatory uh, entities that allow you to register for the, the car classic i think they want to have the car um, as original as possible as uh, classic looking as possible and that keeping the dash makes a huge impact in that department um I've, I've seen some videos on how to repair this cracks uh filling up with bondo i'll give it a try once this comes off um i'm still waiting for my dies for my tube bender i bought a jd square tube bender and the bender arrived like a week after i bought it but the dies are still in back order waiting to be manufactured the supplier is taking already six weeks and apparently it's going to be at least a couple more weeks so no roll cage for now uh that's the whole video i got for you hope you liked it and uh, yeah you can see my flex in here like i said it's about four inches or less this is hilarious but uh Hell, we're going to send it. Thank you. Bye.